For concept one, question D, we're going to solve the equation that you see written out, negative 3 times 2x minus 1 equals 4x plus 5. The first thing we'll do in this equation to make it easier to solve is to distribute that negative 3 to both terms inside the parentheses. That would give us negative 6x plus 3, remember negative times a negative is a positive, equals 4x plus 5. Now to get x by itself, We'll need to move the 4x over to the left side by subtracting it, doing the opposite, which now gives us negative 10x plus 3 equals 5. The next thing we'll do is move the 3 over to the right side by subtraction. So that now gives us negative 10x equals 2. And since the last step is to get x by itself, we'll need to divide by negative 10. Now, as we're quickly skimming our answer choices, we can see that 2 over negative 10 is not an option, but we can remember that 2 over 10 is reducible. So if we think about even numbers, the fact that 2 and 10 are both even means we can reduce by 2. 2 on top, reduced or divided by 2, would give me 1. Negative 10 divided by 2 on the bottom would give me negative 5. And 1 over negative 5 is equivalent to negative 1 over 5. That negative can be top, bottom, or outside, and still technically counts. So that means choice 1 is the option we'll want to pick. Just remember, when you're reducing your fractions, even though 2 divided by 10 is 5, we have to make sure we're reducing the fraction properly. Since the bottom is bigger than the top, that means we have to make sure that the bottom always stays bigger than the top. A lot of people may have fallen into the trap and picked choice 2 because they forgot about the one on, on the top. Just make sure you always keep track of those details by showing all your work and writing down every single step, even if it's a step that you do in your head.